Hey everybody, if you are new to my channel, or if you're one of my channel members, check out Ken Berry MD. He has a lot of outstanding content about nutrition and other things. He is a family physician with 20 years of clinical experience. I'll put a link to his videos below. However, if you are Ken D. Berry MD, and you clicked on the link that I put in one of your comments, this video is specifically for you. I have some questions about a recent video. In this video, you field a question. The question is, is carnivore safe for cats? So let's have a look at, at the video. Duane, I'm, I am doing good on carnivore and I have a question about my cat. Is it safe to feed my cat raw ground beef? I am not a veterinarian. I am a medical doctor. Okay, so if, if you're not a medical doctor, why are you even fielding these type of questions? Why are you bringing the pet culture onto your channel? Uh, but I know because I got my undergraduate degree in animal biology that all cats are obligate carnivores. Any of Ooh, okay, well, let's have a look at what an obligate carnivore is. Because we got to educate ourselves, right? Well, obligate carnivore is an animal that cannot get all the nutrients they need from plants and bacteria depend on animal sources of vitamin A. Okay, well, the cat food that is offered to domestic cats has all this, st this stuff. It's made from leftover meat products anyways. So, um... The stuff that we get off the shelf for our cats, is that really um, that bad for our cats? Well, let's see what let's see what Doctor Barry has to say. Of you guys who are feeding your cat kibble, um, that's unintentional cat abuse. Um, why are you calling these people cat abusers just because they feed their cats kibble? Well, I, let's listen and see what's up. Stop that, please. Your cat needs to be me eating meat, fish. Stop that, please. Your cat needs to be eating meat and fish. Hmm. Uh, and egg yolks, seafood, that's what cats... Meat, fish, egg yolks, and seafood, that's what cats need. Um, you know, I don't see cats eating a lot of eggs or doing... F catching fish. But okay, okay, Dr. Barry. Cats are supposed to eat. They're not supposed to eat kibble. I know uh, Purina, they have the cutest cat food commercials in the world. It's it's cat abuse. Even okay. If you... okay, so again with the cat abuse, and then his wife cuts him off. Why, why do you need to throw the cat abuse thing in there? Why can't you just give a yes or no answer? To your subscriber who asked if it's okay to give beef to the cat. Instead, it seems like you're going out of your way to call people cat abusers for giving them off-the-shelf food. Um, based on Ken Berry's previous videos where he calls out the mainstream media for pushing out propaganda, um, this is very disappointing. Maybe you already know that since you're asking this yeah. question. Our cats get fed ground beef. Raw... Oh, 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 okay. His wife chimes in. Our cats get fed ground beef. Oh, whoa, okay. Well, we better freaking shut our mouths and pay attention now. Because we've been called abusers twice by Ken Berry. And now this lady, he, she's chiming in and she's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Our cats get fed ground beef. Listen up. So y you guys better shut your mouth and listen up ground beef um on occasion they also like chicken sardines sometimes they'll eat sardines they're very bougie cats yeah. they're very picky they're very bougie very picky um in other words you've spoiled them on raw expensive food but also anything that i accidentally leave out to thaw mm-hmm so when you leave your meat out to thaw, your cats get into your raw meat. Okay. All right. 
I can't do. tell you how many times they've mm. torn into a packet of raw ground beef that she's thawing and she'll forget and leave it overnight because they're nocturnal, also true for cats. And we get up the next morning and a quarter of the two pound stick is gone. So then they get a quarter of the two pound stick. So your cats get to eat a quarter pound of raw beef. And I mean, okay, that's fine. Whatever. We live in a free country. But why do you need to throw this information out there? You're calling people abusers for feeding their cats kibble. And then you're bragging that you give your cats ground beef. It doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. Then they get another big hunk because she's not going to eat after the cat. Oh, and then she, they get another big hunk because she's not going to eat after the cat. So she realizes that the cats and their pet dander and their saliva is not good. So she's not going to go and pick up the meat that the cats already ate off of. So the fact that the cats chewed on the meat already means that they get the rest of it. And Ken Barry and your wife, you're going to sit here and brag about it. Why couldn't you just give us a yes or no answer? Why do you have to push out this pet propaganda? Yeah, meat is fine for cats. That is meat is fine for cats. Why couldn't you just say that in the first place? Why do you need to call people abusers? Why do you need to brag that you give your cats raw fish, raw chicken, raw beef? And let me ask you, Ken Berry respectfully why have you not talked about this next thing i'm going to show everybody okay giving raw meat to cats and dogs it increases the parasite load it may pose a risk to both animal and human health this is just one study many other studies are out there the kibble and the fancy cat food that's available off the shelf has all the ingredients that cats need. And cats will eat literally like anything. Cats will eat mice that are full of disease. And Ken Berry, may I please ask you respectfully, do you know what Toxoplasma gondii is? It comes from cats. So you're going to sit there and have all kinds of raw fish and other raw meats on the counter where your cats jump up and admittedly they eat it, which means their saliva and their dander and their paws are going to spread it all over your house. And studies show that this poses a risk to both human and animal health. You're going to sit there and promote it. Why don't you just say, look, cats can eat raw meat if you want to, but you need to look at these precautions. Why don't you say that? Why do you need to sit there and brag about all the raw meat that your cats get to eat? Um, Dr. Kenberry, based on all of your previous content, this is very disappointing because you're pushing the propaganda out there. And I understand you're pushing out um, less kibble and more meat. But all this meat, this raw meat that you're saying we need to feed to our cats, it's full of parasites. And even the meat that we're supposed to eat ourselves needs to be cooked to 160 Fahrenheit to get rid of stuff like salmonella and other things such as zoonotic pathogens. So this seems like a bunch of propaganda from one of my, you know, used to be favorite YouTube people. But, I mean, what are you doing, dude? What are you doing, Ken Berry? I, I would love to hear your response. You probably, you might just tear me apart. I've seen you tear apart other studies and publications that are published by um, biased people. So, yeah, Ken Berry, talk to me. What do you think about all this? I, I don't think you should be promoting all of this raw meat stuff with all the zoonotic parasites. And, uh, hey, you want to do the carnivore diet, that's great. But you don't need to be calling people cat abusers because they don't feed their cats several pounds of raw hamburger. 
like you and your wife do.